We are back with the screen team. We are into part two of our hour-long show. We've got reviews coming up of The Boss Baby. We're also going to be doing uh, City Slickers with uh, Billy Crystal. But first, uh, we're going to review a movie here with Guy. And Guy, we've got a movie called uh, Tremors. And oh, yeah. Tremors uh, is a classic, man. It's like, uh, I don't want to call it, a, I don't want to call it a B movie, but it's a fun, it's a fun horror yeah. type of movie, right? Yes, it is. It's a, it's a, uh, it is kind of a love letter to creature feature B movies. Mm-hmm. It really kind of is. I don't know if that was the intention, but it really kind of is. Yeah. I um I absolutely enjoy it. It's so much fun. It's it's just cheesy. <laughs> it, it is really cheesy, is. but it's fun. It really There's is. There's nothing scary about it. It's just it's huge desert worms. <laughs> How can you be scared desert worms? Right. I, okay, yeah, they're 20 feet long. Yeah, they have razor sharp teeth, but still, they're desert worms. It's just like the sandworms in Dune. You don't find them scary. <laughs> Dune, no matter man. how bad you, no matter how big they are, yeah, they're worms. And for those who don't know, they're worms that uh, they can't see, but they move on sound, correct? Mm-hmm. Vibration. Vibration. Um, as you're standing and walking on the ground, they feel the vibrations, and they, oh, again, dune. They move towards <laughs> vibration. It, it's like somebody watched um, 1984's Dune yeah, and just said, well, let's just take the sandworms because that's a good idea. Yeah. It's kind of what they did. It, it's just, it's it's fun camp. Check your brain at the door. Yeah, it re- I mean, you got Kevin Bacon in this film, who's who's awesome. Um, Reba McIntyre, dude, dude, Reba McIntyre and Michael uh, Gross is that his yeah. name? Um, they are amazing in this film. They're like a poster child for the, like the NRA. You know, <laughs> sad, sad, sad part is with Michael Gross being in there every time. Um, he was running along and the worms were coming. Mm. I was always picturing the theme to family ties in my <laughs> yeah. head for some odd reason. I would think the worms were listening to the theme to family ties while chasing him <laughs> down. I don't know why. Uh, it was, it, it was, but yeah. Um, if you want to see what the most stereotypical Hollywood version of NRA gun nuts looked like. Yeah. Reba McIntyre and Michael Gross. And they had everything. They are like, okay, yeah, we got, uh, you know, this Glock over here and this handgun. You know, it was, uh, it, yeah, was had, it was hilarious. They man. had a small arsenal they did. that they carried with them. They did. Uh, just because. It wasn't even for the emergency of these daggum worms. They just had it. Yeah. Okay, you want to have a fifty caliber handgun? Here you go. <laughs> what? Um, we're, we're kind of, this movie is kind of set in a small western town. I'm not sure. I can't remember if it's, is it New Mexico? Um, so they're they're in this town, and some some bad stuff is going on with uh, with these worms. And um, there's uh, there's a geologist, right? The girl, she's a geologist, and she's uh, she's uh, uh, de- she's uh, you know she's seeing that there's like all these different uh, seismic um, you know events happening in this area, and she's uh, trying to figure it out. And we come to find out, like I said, that there's these huge giant worms that are uh, eating people. So, you know, that's like, you know, guys, like you said, man, it's check your, uh, check your brain at the door and, uh, just enjoy. Yeah. It, it, you don't need, it, if you think about this for more than two minutes, you're going to be disappointed because it just falls apart. Yeah. You, you can't, you can't try to pick this one apart. This is, this, this exists in the same vein as, um, uh, the tarantulas in the 1950s mm-hmm. film uh tarantula uh the ants or the triffids or any of those uh nuclear era creature giant bug yeah. movies it fits in that same category you don't need to think about it you don't need to try to rationalize it cuz if you do all you're going to do is end up with a massive headache <laughs> And a twitch. Yeah, it's all you're gonna have. You can't, you can't really break this one down because yeah. if you do, you're just gonna be disappointed. So I'm curious. Uh, obviously, Guy and I are both fans of uh, the original Tremors. Have you partaked in the 20 sequels that have come 
come since. I've watched <laughs> I've watched two, three, and four. And what were your thoughts? I mean, did those have any enjoyment like this movie? Um, well, the second one, the 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 worms you find out are actually all female, and they give birth to what look like crickets. <laughs> okay. So take that for what you will. Okay. Um. That's about it. And That's then, about and it. Then All the, right. Then the third one, you have worms and crickets, and it's just bugs. So just stick with the original, yeah. if you can. Tremors is the name of the film, and, uh, of course, you can find it wherever it is you find movies. All right, so uh, do it up, man. If you want a good kind of Saturday night, sit on the couch, eat, uh, have some popcorn, and just enjoy yourself kind of movie, for if sure. You, if you like if you like schlock. Schlock. I like that. Schlock. If you like schlock, this is, this, this is a more modern movie movie that still fits into that schlock category and um when i sit down and have horror night with my family movies like this tend to be what gets peppered in along with the good horror yeah we tend to pepper like this birdemic sharknado (laughs) stuff like that that you know you know what you're getting into yeah simply by what it is and at some point, we'll have to do Birdemic here on the show. Sounds good. Sign me I, up. I think the moment you watch Birdemic, you're going to beat your head at a wall and wondering what the hell you just watched. <laughs> all right, man. Now sign me up. I'm all for it, for sure. <laughs> uh, coming up next, we're going to review Guy's favorite movie of 2017. We're talking about Boss Baby. Ugh. It's next right here on the screen team.